and welcome to your gold market update for today the 5th of august happy friday everybody hope you're looking forward to the weekend mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here let's have a look around the news today of course us markets were choppy in a mixed session overnight some caution was evident before that non-farm payrolls number tonight and some hope for confirmation of good earnings next week perhaps just a little bit of risk coming off the table U.S.-China relations remain part of the market narrative as well with Taiwan front and central to some of the things that are going on. Oil price move was also significant yesterday and we'll talk about that in a moment in more detail. U.S. futures are mildly positive today in Asia with Asian indices slightly to the upside. The ASX is trading towards the highs of the session at around about 0.3% to the upside. U.S. futures are also suggesting a slightly higher open at this stage. In the FX world, the US dollar index has been range bound throughout the week, but may move, of course, on tonight's data. Gold, meanwhile, has pushed up hard towards that resistance and key psychological level of 1800. And oil, as we suggested, has moved down again, and we're now at five month lows below that very important $100 a barrel. VIX again is eyeing April lows and coppers, pausing around $3.50. It is a quieter earnings day today, as often is the case on Friday throughout earnings season before ramping up again next week. Today, on the data front, we've got German industrial production numbers this afternoon and, of course, the non-farm payrolls on monthly jobs out of the US tonight, which will be a market mover. A couple of charts to have a look at that, of course, are today. Uh, we're starting with the Euro-Canadian dollar, and you can see there that we've pushed up hard against the resistance that's been in place really since the beginning of July, around 131.85 in today's trading. be interesting to see if we've got enough momentum based on this large candle yesterday to push us through that level. In the first instance, we could pause around about this 132.50, uh, but there is the potential for this to move up quite significantly with the next key level on the daily chart being about 133.90. If we just look at the 30-minute chart, you can see how we've already tested it in Asia this morning. Just pulled back a little bit, which may be profit-taking on the back of that strong move yesterday. And we look as though we're due for another test that so could be worth a look at later on today. In the ASX, lithium stocks again are outperformed. We can see Lion Town there pushing hard and is now confirmed that move through the 200 EMA. We looked at around about this 143, 145 level has been important. That now is significantly under pressure and looks as though we could be up for a very significant move to the upside, possibly in the first instance around this 160 level you can see there was a pause here previously and some resistance there but ultimately perhaps a drift up to 172 which would be a significant return from where we are trading now in excess of 15 percent but short term there's still a very nice trade potentially to be had there trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now